Nina Paul was born in 1892 in the town of New Roads, Louisiana. She is known as Lena Richard after her marriage to Percival Richard in 1914. At the age of nine, Lena joined her mother and aunt in New Orleans, where they were domestic workers in the Viren household. Lena joined them in their tasks after school. From an early age, helping in the kitchen, Lena displayed an aptitude for food preparation and the Varens noticed. After Lena graduated from high school, they hired her in their kitchen and sent her to culinary school in New Orleans. After completing that education, they enrolled Lena in the Fanny Farmer Cooking School in Boston, Massachusetts. Fanny Farmer, born in Boston to a well-established family, turned her interest to food preparation and safety. She published the Boston Cooking School Cookbook in 1896 and opened Miss Farmer's School for Cookery in 1902. Lena Richard attended this training. However, she stated, quote, when I got way up there, I found out in a hurry they couldn't teach me much more than I know. I learned things about new desserts and salads, but when it comes to cooking meats, stews, soups, sauces, and such dishes, we Southern cooks have Northern cook cooks beat by a mile. That's not big talk. That's honest truth, end quote. After graduating from farmer school in 1918, Lena returned to New Orleans and worked at several restaurants. In the early 1920s, Richard started a catering business from her home and opened a sweet shop that served sandwiches, red beans, and watermelon. Throughout the 1930s, Richard continued catering she opened a lunch house for laundry workers, and by 1937, with her daughter Marie, who had earned a home economics degree from Xavier University, opened a cooking school. Richard especially wanted to teach Black men and women culinary skills in order to give them a chance to make a career for themselves in a city that historically disenfranchised African Americans. She wrote that she had opened her cooking school so that her students, quote, would become capable of preparing and serving food for any occasion and also that they might be in a position to demand higher wages, end quote. The demand for local cooking demonstrations and housewives wanting recipes Richard self-published Lena Richard's cookbook in 1939, the first Black author to feature New Orleans Creole cuisine. Richard noted that her recipes were made up from two traditions and credited African-American cooks who had influenced her and New Orleans cuisine in general. A year later, Holton Mifflin reissued the book with a new title, New Orleans Cookbook. The book was a bestseller. Richard promoted the book in New York City, selling, selling over 700 copies and was featured in the New York Times and the Times Herald Tribune. Richard was lured back to New York to serve as head chef at Bird and Bottle Inn in 1940. Despite rave reviews, Richard stayed 18 months and returned to New Orleans, but she was recruited again in 1943 to head the kitchen at Travis House, where she cooked for dignitaries and military leaders until 1945. This is understandable when the reviews of her fans are read, quote, your oysters have character, and to be scalloped by Lena, the Oyster's Prayer, and Lena is the Queen of Oysterina. Finally, your gifted fingers have given the oyster a soul. This, despite race segregation in restaurants north and south. 
Between these two engagements, in 1941, Richard opened Lena's Eatery. This restaurant was an immediate success. After returning from her away jobs, Richard settled permanently in New Orleans. Note on the one-year anniversary, a patriotic reminder to buy war bonds. In 1946, the innovative Richard expanded her empire to include a line of frozen foods, fully cooked packaged dinners that were flown across the United States. In 1949, she opened the Gumbo House. That year, 3,000 Black women came to the Booker II Washington High School Auditorium to attend the Lena Richards Cooking and Baking School a first of its kind. Also in 1949, she became a television star. Richard hosted a 30-minute cooking show called Lena Richards' New Orleans Cookbook Show that aired twice weekly at WDSU, New Orleans' first television station. Richard and her assistant-slash-daughter Marie guided their audience through recipes from Richard's cookbook. The show started at 5 p.m. Tuesday and Thursday and was sponsored by Wholesome Bread. They were the first blacks in America to host a cooking show in an age when most Americans did not own a television. At the height of her career, in 1950, Lena Richards suddenly died of a heart attack after leaving her restaurant. The family kept the restaurant open until 1958. Her recipes are still being prepared by leading chefs across the country. In 2020, Richard was one of eight women featured in the only one in the room display at the Smithsonian National Museum of American History. This is who we are.